On today's video, we find out why Joel started this song and let Taya finish it, and we discuss why this song's build is slightly different from the others. Familia, our journey begins now. Bienvenidos and welcome back familia to another reaction video today is Thursdays which means that we're taking a song and we're breaking it apart like kind of like a burrito and finding out what makes it so delicious. On today's menu we're breaking apart a song that we covered a few days ago titled Closer Than You Know by Hillsong United. Familia I want to bring your attention to my shirt which just came in yesterday it says 333 answer the call and it says La Familia 2020 down here. I love the material it's nice and comfy. If you like it you can get one of your own by clicking the link at the end of this video. If this is your first time meeting me, hello and welcome. My name is Leonardo Torres and I'm a music lover just like you. And my passion is breaking songs apart and showing you how great songs are built so you can enjoy them on a whole different level. And who knows, maybe you might be inspired to write a great song of your own. I do not own the rights to this song. The purpose of this video is to critique it and nothing more. If you're new to the channel, don't be shy. Say hi in the live chat or say hello in the comments down below. And without further delay, let's grab our headphones and let's be on our way. And if you're ready to go, familia, let's press play. All right, so here we have, we're starting off with a nice soft piano, right? And a nice little guitar, sort of, not really strumming, it's more like arpeggios here. At this point, just picking. Beautiful. We stood in the fire and we walked on sea and we drank off the wine uh. that was made of me. Okay. All right, so obviously this is a song that is sung from the perspective of Jesus, right? Because he says, I tempered the storm, though your faith was small. I prayed while you slept and the night waged war. We stood in the fire and we walked on the sea and we drank of the wine that was made by me. Wow, these lyrics, man. I don't know how he comes up with these lyrics, but they're beautiful, right? I mean, obviously he comes up with them from the Bible, right? He takes them from the Bible. But to put them into a song in this way is just absolutely special. I love it. I just want to point out that if you are a worship leader and you're singing this song in, in church, for example, what you may want to do is listen to this song at least, and this is not an exaggeration, you may want to listen to it at least a dozen times, at least, at least a dozen times. And each time you go, try to sing it and feel it like he's feeling. Sing along with him and feel what he's feeling because he's singing with a lot of sincerity here and you need that. You don't want your mind to interrupt the storytelling here. You definitely want to sing from from down below. Okay, let's continue. See, soft. See how he comes in. And how he releases the notes here. Nice and soft. Don't hide your face from me. Here. Nicely released there. See? Okay, a couple of things here as well. If you're going to sing it from the perspective of Jesus, you really have to explore with your imagination here let your imagination go wild because because the thing that i've run into most from a non-christian perspective uh with you you who are christian there seems to be a slight fear of stepping outside of yourself and trying to look at things from a god perspective to some of you that may be uncomfortable to some of you that might seem like blasphemy but let's think about it for a second if jesus were to say to you don't turn your eyes from me for my love won't be undone if Jesus were to look straight at you and say, don't hide your face from me, for the light has surely come. If he were to say that to you, how would he say it? I'm not saying to be Jesus, right? I'm not saying that at all. But what I'm saying, if, if you were to sing this song from the point of view of Jesus, how would you want Jesus to say these words to you? How would he feel? Where would it come from? I'm going to go back a little bit, familia, and show you what, what I mean. See how he just really quickly don't chops it turn your 
Nice and soft release. and soft build build but there's no peak here it's just uh just build up just slightly slightly higher get that bass in there now see the music is a little bit more full now he's strumming a little bit more My favorite part. Uh, see? I'm gonna pause it there for a second. We go back here. These lyrics, okay? I carried that cross, okay? I carried that cross and I felt your pain. I took up your crown and I wore your shame. Hmm? And death was a fire, and its teeth were grim. But I left it behind, along with all your sins. Familia. Familia, lyrics like these are not found in a cereal box. I mean, you have to work at these types of lyrics, okay? So again, Joel being the storyteller that he is, okay? And understanding the emotion that he wants to convey in this song. He is telling us a story from Jesus' perspective of what it was like to take on everyone's sin and to take on everyone's pain to ultimately save you. If at this point you find it difficult to put yourself in his position, what I would suggest that you do is ask yourself, what cross am I carrying? What's the pain that I feel? What crown do I wear that is my own shame? And if I can imagine that death is a fire and its teeth are grim, what would it feel like to leave that behind and to walk away from it nice and clean? If you can wrap your mind around that and sing it from there, I think, I think it'd be great. Turn your eyes from me from the love be I think this song requires a lot of patience to play because you are building it slowly. You're adding instruments slowly and you're increasing the build much slower than what they usually do. That little guitar riff there, bass. See, see how? Do you see how beautiful that sounded? There was a little bit of space. The guitar came in, and then there was more space, and the bass came in right away after that. See? Here comes another build. Now it's a little bit higher now. We're a little more elevated. A response there. A response from the guitar. So let's look at the lyrics there. Again, it said, don't hide your face from me and my light has surely come. Surely come, surely come. It repeats it three times, putting a little bit more emphasis on each one. When, when the song built up a little bit higher and Taya came in, they started singing, lift up your eyes and see, heaven is closer than you know. Lift up your voice and sing, know that my love won't let you go. Familia, what does that look like to you? To me, that sounds like a person who's looking down at life, sad, depressed, broken, in pain and jesus comes along and says hey lift up your eyes and see that heaven is closer than you know 
it's it's much closer than you know. Lift up your voice and sing, know that my love won't let you go. In such a short phrase, we understand two things. One, humans have a tendency of making heaven farther than what it actually is. And secondly, we somehow as humans believe that God's love sometimes is absent. And that, to me at least, is impossible. But let's start a conversation about that in the comments down below. Do you believe that God's love can ever be absent? And if so, why? Do you believe that God's love can never be absent? And if so, why? Let me know in the comments below. Go back a little bit and let's continue. See, now he's strumming a little harder, but not louder. The drummer's not playing with the brushes anymore. Or at least it doesn't sound that way. Beautiful build. Beautiful movements here. See how he said it three times and each time he says it in it with a slightly he says it three times and he says it each time with a slightly different expression surely comes now we got space here created with the keyboard Getting, he's letting us know that he's closer than we we know. <laughs> That's interesting to me, Familia, because now that I was thinking about it just then, to know is to not know. To believe is not to believe. To know with your mind is not to know. It's not enough. The mind will never understand because the mind is limited and will never comprehend the vastness that is the Great Spirit, God, Jesus, whatever you want to call it. So in this case, Jesus is closer than you know. And I think to a certain extent, this is telling us to come to know without the mind stepping into it. That our own minds push God away and sees God as something over there versus something that's much, much closer than that much much closer than that even closer than your person even closer than your person closer than your mind is to you closer than your feelings are to you i have a feeling that this is saying on on a whole different level familia that that even though we think that our thoughts are, are our own that our feelings are our own and because our thoughts are and our emotions are so intimate that there can never be anything closer than that so we seek god out there not realizing that god is even closer than our most intimate parts that God is a lot closer than my thoughts, a lot closer than my, my emotions. The things that I believe to be so intimate and so close to me, that are things that I cling on to and hold close to my person, are not even as close as God is. Is that far-fetched? All right, let's continue. I'm closer than you know. Love this little riff. like a heartbeat for the musicians out there if you're going to play this in church you really have to give space you really have to give time to build this space this space is really important here for the lyrics that are about to come and make sure that your drummers understand the importance of this heartbeat like drum beat okay because we're taking people inside now beautiful parts 
starting to awaken. I'm going to pause it here. We're coming in and we're bringing this thing home. And this makes sense why Joel sang one part and Taya sang the other part. One, we needed Joel to sing the part of Jesus, right? And now Taya is singing the part that is essentially your soul or your spirit. And she starts off by saying, Lord, I hear you. I know you're there. Closer than my skin and bones could dare. Breathing deep within me. You are always with me. I'm going to go back so you can hear that full expression. What we're hearing here, at least what I'm picking up here, is that God is something that is within. Let's continue. <laughs> I'm going to go, I'm going to go back. That bass. Oh. So soft. Okay, familia, come on, the second part. I can see you where eyes can't stare. Brighter than the sun could ever bear. Meaning you are beyond my senses and beyond the most brightest thing in our solar system. This time she says, breathing all around me. Lord, I hear you. I know you're there. In the previous expression, she pointed to God within. And in this expression, she pointed to God around her. Let's continue. Feels so good. Building up slowly. She says bear. I don't know if it was a, a typo in the other lyrics. See how it's building up, building up. The drum is building up. All the instruments are building up nicely, giving this more power. Her voice is picking up a little bit. My soul knows well that you are here. We haven't even gotten into like a good rhythm yet. And here we go. Stronger. Uh, like a bubble just building tension eventually it popped mm. there's so many different parts to pick out from this song familia that we would probably need about another 10 hours just to talk about you know all the different components to this song I think that if you're going to be playing this, like say in church, for example, you definitely want to pay close attention to the build, okay? Pay attention to how soft it started in the intro. In the usual Hillsong build, they'll start building and then they hit a peak, or they'll do a long build and then hit the peak. But in this one, it build, 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 and then drop down, and it just started to build slowly. If you think about it like those buildings that have steps which are like this high maybe, you know, you're taking big steps because you're going up at a bit of an angle there. 
but this song actually builds this way so you have those steps that are really long and only go up like about that much you, you, you know what i'm talking about <laughs> so what i'm trying to say is that you should look at this song as one long build that's all the lyrics are profound and if you're going to sing this you really got to put this story on you can't shortcut this story this story needs to be told in this very specific way and, and to a certain degree you don't just step into jesus's way of thinking you're you're stepping into joel's way of thinking because as an interpreter of the song, you definitely have to ask yourself, if I had written this song, how would I sing it? And you have to put on Joel's story and then put on Jesus' story. And you kind of have to step into Joel's mind just to kind of understand why, where he came from when he built it this way, when they made these choices. Figure out why these decisions were made to build in this way, to build slowly, and to add those instruments when they chose to add those instruments, and why they switched voices. Why did Joel start it and Taya ended it? Well, we have our answer now. Joel sang Jesus' part, and Taya sang, well, your part, the part of your soul, of your spirit. So yeah, I love this song. This was absolutely fantastic. I would love to have like a Zoom with Joel and maybe ask him some questions about his style of songwriting so for me i would really appreciate it if you all would make that happen and and i don't know message him on on social media and uh maybe send him an email or something and let him know that i i want to maybe sit down with him and who knows maybe we can make that happen familia familia the fun's not over yet to check out more from this channel click on this link right over here and to get your hands on a 333 shirt click on this link right over here and as always familia help me spread love help me spread peace and help me spread music and i'll see you on our next adventure thanks